In today's tech-savvy world, it's all around you. An invisible world of electromagnetic signals and radio waves. Wi-Fi, or wireless fidelity, is responsible for over 60% of the planet's internet traffic. It's seemingly everywhere, yet imperceptible to the human eye. But what if you could see it? What would Wi-Fi look like? And what would it do to you if you could see it? This is what if, and here's what would happen if Wi-Fi was visible. Your eyes are pretty remarkable, and I'm not just saying that to be nice. You can see colors over an electromagnetic wavelength anywhere from 410 nanometers, here you'll find violet, to roughly 680 nanometers, the home of red. This is what we call visible light, also known as the visible spectrum. It's what humans can view without the aid of any fancy tech devices. Things like Wi-Fi are invisible to the human eye. But what if it wasn't? What would Wi-Fi look like? There are upwards of 4 billion people accessing the internet around the world. That's a lot of Wi-Fi signals. If you could see them, you would be peeking into the unseen world of electromagnetic fields. Wi-Fi is all about transmitting and receiving data in the gigahertz range. If you woke up one day with the ability to see these signals, you would see frequencies up to 30 gigahertz, wavelengths greater than 10 millimeters. Not so bad, right? Well, it is speculated that Wi-Fi waves, or pulses, are approximately 15 centimeters apart, so imagine a bombardment of colored bands taking over your vision. With everything that we have in our homes that relies on Wi-Fi and the ever-expanding availability of the signal, like city-wide public Wi-Fi networks, the visual stimulation would be too much. So what would happen to you if you started seeing Wi-Fi? It would be overwhelming to say the least. Prepare yourself for the worst headache in the history of headaches. It would be inescapable. Wi-Fi routers or antennas can be attached to almost anything, including trees, buildings, lampposts, and other structures. If you think that fleeing to the wilderness would work, hmm, a typical outdoor router can project its signal 300 feet or more from its location. All those routers would be creating a circular data field around them. Talk about being surrounded. There have also been claims that just being exposed to electromagnetic fields can cause symptoms of anxiety, depression, nausea, and suicidal thoughts. So imagine what would happen if you could see them. If you could see these signals, you'd probably be looking for the deepest cave you could find to hide in, to escape from the constant barrage of lights and freakiness. But could something like this actually happen? Well, technically, we could make this a reality, but it's not something that would ever occur naturally. It's easy to take a pair of, say, infrared goggles off, but if you were stuck with this ability forever, you'd be crushed by the overwhelming amount of visual input. Overall, the idea of being able to witness Wi-Fi in action sounds like a really cool idea, but we should limit it to our technology, not ourselves. Thankfully, our natural eyes aren't capable of seeing this invisible world, and we should consider ourselves lucky. Electromagnetic waves can have all sorts of strange effects on us. It's even theorized that they're responsible for what we know as ghosts. Makes you think, doesn't it? Now, what if ghosts were real? Well, that's a story for another What If.